Hello guys, this is Saad and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be telling you how to fix your touchpad not working on the Windows 11. So as your touchpad is not working you'll have to use a keyboard only. You can use an external mouse if you have but if you don't have I'll be telling you how to fix this error without using your mouse. So first of all click on the Windows key on your keyboard and then you'll have to just use your keyboard to type in device manager and then click on enter on your keyboard over here now you'll have to click on the tab key which is which is above the caps lock key and now you can use the down arrows to go down and now you'll have to just click on the down arrow until you reach mice and other pointing devices now you'll have to click on enter You have to use the the arrow which is on the right side of the down arrow and now you can just use the down arrow again and now you have to select the mouse basically your mouse should be this one the compliant mouse the your touchpad the razor one is my external mouse so just hit enter on your keyboard so you can see this the general part you can you'll have to now click on tab you can use the up arrow you can click on tab again you can see that the this have come to general now now you can click on the front arrow and go to driver now you can click on tab again now you can click the down arrow it's not working so you have to click on tab and now click enter so click enter again and for me it's already working so I can close this by clicking tab and now click tab again you can see this disabled device click enter on your keyboard uh, use the left arrow key and click on yes now click on enter again you enable the device and if it's still not working you can just click the tab key again click on uninstall device and click on enter again so now you have to <coughs> click on the alt key the alt key is behind the windows key actually in front of the windows key and you have to click on the alt or the alt key which is in front of the windows key just click on it and you see your blue is on file you have to click on the front key and then you have to click on enter on action you will see the second option by clicking the down arrow key which is scan for hardware changes click on enter so after this your mouse should be working now you can now close this and if there's an option on your touchpad to disable it you can check it on google or wherever you on whichever browser you want or you can type in your model laptop and you can see the key for which you can disable your touchpad usually it's like uh, the function key which is behind the windows key and a function key which is f5 or f6 sometimes f8 and you can check this key for your laptop or specific model of your laptop and you can try this and if that didn't work for you too what you can do is that you can just click on the windows key again you'll have to type in R E G E D I T registry editor and now hit enter on your keyboard there'll be a prompt you can use the back arrow key and click on yes over here you'll have to again use a key as the touchpad is not working so over here you'll have to use your down arrow key to go to hkey local machine but before that uh, you first of all you have to click on tab and you will have to make sure that the blue part is on computer and then you can click on the down arrow key and now you can click on the front arrow key to expand it and to not expand it you can just click on the back arrow key just click on the front arrow key right now now you have to go down again and now on software you have to click on the front arrow key and now you have to just use the down arrow key and look for Microsoft over here again click on the front arrow key 
now you can use the down arrow key again so keep using your down arrow key until you find the windows folder as you can see the windows folder is over here now you have to click on the right arrow key to expand it and now you have to go to the current version and now you'll have to press the right arrow key again to expand it now you have to use the down arrow key to go down and the right arrow key to navigate to the policies folder and now you have to click on the right arrow key to expand the policies folder now use the down arrow key to go to system and now you have to click on the tab key to go to the options on the right just click on the tab key so as you can see we are on the default option over here so now you have to use the down arrow key to go down and this is the option which we want enable cursor suppression click enter on your keyboard over here you have to just use the backspace arrow to the backspace key to just change the value from 1 to 0 and then click on ok or enter on your keyboard so the value is changed now now you can just close this so to close that what you can do is that you can click on the alt key which is in front of the windows key and f4 on the top click alt and f4 together to close the program and you'll see this option over here now you'll have to click on enter and your pc or laptop your laptop will restart now or shut down and then you can restart your laptop you can even click on the down key to restart your laptop and then click on ok and another way which you can use to shut down or restart your laptop after doing all the steps is that you can just click on the windows key on your keyboard and over here over here you'll have to press the tab key on your keyboard and then you have to press it again 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 until you reach your profile and now you have to click on the right arrow key and now you have to click on enter you can use the down arrow key and go to restart and hit enter on your keyboard this should restart your laptop and your touchpad would be working after the restart I hope this video would have helped you and for more similar videos like this you can subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, peace out.